Yeah, hey guys, we're back. We're going to show you again what we did in class today. We're finding these uh, bisectors, the angle bisectors, uh, the in center, and the circum center. Okay? The, remember, the, the perpendicular bisectors, the angle bisectors, and the circum center. Okay? So we, I'm just going to start a new sketch for you, run through what we did just, to, just so that you've uh, got a better understanding of it. So here we go, start with a new sketch. Now, the first thing we did was uh, we built um, the, um, let me just scoot this out of the way here, okay? Uh, we built, we put four pages on there, right? So document options, and we said add a page, uh, blank page, and, and we wanted four. So we just kept adding new blank pages, new blank pages, and you'll remember we called, uh, you know, we called them, we could adjust what their name were up here. We're going to call that in center. Uh, I'm not going to do it spelled all out, okay, just for in the interest of time. Then, then we did number three was the uh, circum center. So I'll just put it there for now. And then we did the, um, the angle bisectors. So we come up here and angle. And, uh, and then we did the uh, bisectors here and one. I'm just, just trying to do it quickly. And then just click on OK, and then we have down here four pages. So we had the bisector, remember, just draw a segment, OK, any segment, find its midpoint, OK, midpoint, and then any line that goes through that, OK, so you had to go through it this way, um, will be a bisector, OK, so then it just we constructed another point on that line uh, so that we could just make segments out of that or call it something, OK. Uh, and there we had our bisector. Now to do a perpendicular bisector, what we had to do was we had to select the segment and uh, select the midpoint and then construct the perpendicular line, okay? And that was the perpendicular bisector, okay? And then we kind of put points on that and made a segment out of that. And then, of course, we saw it was perpendicular because we grabbed this tool here and we said, let's stretch out. There's a box. And there's a box here showing us we have right angles, okay? Now, that's what we need to do when we're doing the circum center over here. So, uh, circum center says, okay, let's just, just um, get any triangle, all right, any triangle. So, any triangle, of course, is with three, three points. So, I put segments through these three points and make a triangle, all right? And uh, then I found, then I selected all the sides, and I... Uh, I constructed the um, the midpoints, okay, and then I uh, what did I do? Yeah, we select the midpoints and the side, select the midpoint and the side, and construct the perpendicular, okay. Do that. Actually, you only need to do it twice over, so we do it twice, okay. Construct the uh, perpendicular line. Then we found where that point meet, where those two lines meet, the point where they meet. Construct, select the two lines, construct the intersection. And that's the center of the circle, so we go and get our circle tool, and we put our starter circle there and just sweep it out until we touch one of the um, uh, points of the circle, uh, well, one of the points of the triangle, okay? So that's a circumscribed circle. And then we could see that we could reshape that, that, um, uh, reshape that triangle, but the, the, uh, the circle always was drawn around the triangle. Uh, because this point here is the circum center, okay, and let's just label that that point. That point there is the circum center. Can't get a label on that for some reason. Okay, can't get a label, I don't know why. But that point is the circum center, and when the triangle is, uh, when the triangle is, as we see in this arrangement, obtuse, this, the circum center is outside. When it's a right triangle, okay, then the circum center is right there at the midpoint of the hypotenuse. And when it's a, um, uh, when it is a uh, uh, acute triangle, the circum center is inside, okay? Uh, then we go to the angle. We said, how do we do an angle bisector? Well, construct the angle, okay? And then uh, select the three points defining the angle in, in the correct sequence, okay? And then construct the, uh, the angle bisector. And you can just uh, put the, point on that bisector and just draw a segment there if you wish, just 
it's from there to there. It's a segment rather than a whole line. And we can come and we can we can uh, select that line and we can hide it. And there's a bisector. Okay. Um, so then, however I change this angle, okay, it's always being bisected, no matter how small or how large. Okay. If it's a right angle, then that's going to be bisecting. Uh, I mean, if it's a straight angle, then I'm going to be bisecting right here. Okay. So there you have it. All right. Now we put that to use in what we call the in center. Okay. So the in center, again, we're going to build a triangle. Build a triangle. And uh, now we want to find the circle that sits right inside of that. And and what we had to do was that's where the the angle bisectors met. So we we kind of bisect uh, the bias angle bisector. Okay. We did. Change the color if you want. That's just uh, just doing that and selecting another um, uh, another angle. Okay, so let's select this angle here and construct a bisector there. Okay, and then find where those two meet, and uh, that is the uh, the center of the inscribed circle. Now, the problem was from there we said well. I want to reach out and touch each side of the circle at one point. Now, it appears to be touching each side right there, but in reality, it really isn't because if I go and alter this triangle, then that's no longer the case. So we got to back out of that for a minute. Uh, oh, there's what happens. Select the too many things, Control-Z. I, I just wanted to um, delete the circle for the time being. And what I had to do is I, I had to select one of these sides. Okay, so I'm just going to select this side and the in center point here. I'm going to construct the uh, perpendicular line. Uh, then I'm going to want to find where that perpendicular line uh, intersected with the side of the triangle. So construct the uh, intersection. And that's all, that's all I was interested in. So I really I come back and I just hide this now. Okay. I only want that point. So now uh, I draw my uh, circle starting at this point, reaching out so the point on the circle just touches that uh, point on the, seg the segment right there. Now that will form the, the uh, inscribed circle, okay, and, uh, and what you can see is that as I change that circle, or rather as I change the triangle, the circle inside will always be inscribed. And what do we mean by inscribed? Well, we mean that it's just touching. It's just touching each side of the uh, each side of the triangle. So the the the, it, the circle is inscribed within the the uh, triangle. It's just touching each side of the triangle, which is which is in a word what we call tangent. Okay. So the the uh, sides of the triangle are said to be tangent to the circle. That is, tangent is to, say, touching at one point. So that's how we did that construction if you needed to review it. Okay? There you go.